Hi there and welcome back to Gaming Crazy. This is part 12 of our Resident Evil 7 playthrough. So, looking at what we did in part 11, there was a lot going off. Uh, a lot of new things happened. We got a new weapon. Found out about the arm. I'm just going to say we just pulled that off of Evelyn's corpse from what we can make out. And uh, we've noticed that Zoe's also been taken uh, with Mia uh, by uh, the crazy son of the family. So what we're going to be looking at today is a few things. One thing I actually missed, and I'll pull this up quite quickly now, and I'll give you a quick show of what I meant. It was to do uh, with a comment that we found on the head in the fridge. Uh, so we'll just have a look at that now. The pig is waiting for you in the dissection room, bitch. So as you can see, uh, we missed it out. So, uh, so we're going to go back in there and check that out and look at the pig and see if there's any clues but hopefully there might be something like um, the key that we're looking for the snake key uh, but who knows on top of that as well uh, we've got to look at the altar and there's also the mysterious um, appearing and disappearing of granny so we've got to find out what's going off with granny as well so plenty to check out and do and see uh, let's see how, how we do anyway let's get on with this So here we are back in the room. Uh, we're near the dissection room as well, so we ain't got far to go. Uh, we should be alright for bullets and everything else. Uh, like I say, we haven't got far to go as well. Just gotta head downstairs more than anything and just see, have a look at what we may have missed. So uh, let's just get my bearings. So we're down the stairs. Yeah, we'll check it out from that angle onwards so I can see the map. Down here. You have to excuse me at the minute. I've uh, been awake about an hour. It's very early in the morning. It's approximately where I'm recording at the moment, just before 6 a.m. I'm on my second coffee and I'm trying to wake up. Right, so we can head downstairs. So from the stairs we head right and then through that we throw a door left and follow it right and then right and then boiler room, etc. Okay. So as I said, I've not been awake very long, so we've got any jump scares, oh there's Granny again. Weren't expecting that even though we saw her last time. Ah oh, no, it's a, there's some mystery behind that woman. We'll find out as we go on. That's where the creature jumped out the wall. I'm glad that happened then and not now, because I'm not fully awake yet. So here's the pig. So I've, yeah, I've misjudged it. I actually thought that was part of the dissection room. It's actually the morgue. Right, hang on. If I'm right, the shit is about to hit the fan. The pig, as in the copper. Right, okay, which is a term which isn't very nice because the police are uh, an amazing service and we. You know, they do a lot for us, so it's a horrible thing to say. Anyway. Rigor mortis is just what? Rigor, rigor mortis just set in. His joints are already stiff. Let's see what else is going here. Let's just say. Prove you're a real man. Stick your hand down the pig's what? Throat. Nice. So before I do that... Right. Let's just get on with it. There's a sickening, 
sweet stench. He's starting rotting. Right, okay. Well, look at that. The snake key. That pretty little thing will help you find the two key cards you're gonna need to join the party we're having over here. You've gotta earn your way, Ethan. Right, so we've gotta get two key cards. I'm gonna head out of here. I'm definitely not going that way. Right, go out this way. Oh! It's all going off now, right? I'm sod off. I'm trying to conserve my ammo if I can. That from the fact that I don't have a lot of health at the minute. Snake key, snake key, snake key. Oh, you know, in, in your own time. I've only got shit chasing me. They're not following me through the door, are they? No. Right, I'm not going to just run off. I'm going to... Ah, oh, there's that other side of that door. Remember where we are now. Did the door go? <laughs> right, okay, whatever. So let's proceed up here. Right, I know where I'm going. If I don't get stopped on the way up. Something tells me it's not going to be just as easy as what I think. What the fuck was that? I'm going to just run for it, I think. Right. Fuck. Whoo! I don't like them. They're a bit... Oh no. They just come out of nowhere. Right, hang on. Right, I'm going to save it here and before I proceed because things are getting a bit hairy. So I said my inventory is a bit full as well, so I'm going to put some stuff in here. I don't think I need croquet anymore. I think they're all done to chuck that in there. I've got the arm. Right, we'll leave to that for a minute. I'm running out of all like, you know, guns are blazing. I haven't got a clue where I'm going. Hang on, let's hold up. I wouldn't mind getting up to the second floor, actually. Oh, great. Right, sod you. I need to go upstairs anyway. He looks a bit different. I'm going upstairs. Holy shit! Hang on a second, have we got to do this every time then? Oh shit, hang on. Right, one shot in the head. Stay down. So you're telling me every time you come to this, you've got to go, right, snake key. Right. I would have thought it just automatically just select it. Oh, new room. There's grandma again. So what room's this then? This is the master bedroom. Oh, granny's got some health packs. Now let's just check out the scene for a minute. We've got grandma. Sat here. Looking at a photograph. Who's the photograph of? Let's have a look. 
April 1980, Jack joins the Marines. Jack? Oh. So Jack was in the Marines before he went psycho. <laughs> this is typical reading for Granny, isn't it? Gun journal. <laughs> got a herb. That means to rob Granny's bedroom, but we've got no choice. What else going there now? I feel like we're robbing a room. Um, what's in a box? What's in Granny's box? Oh, Granny's got maggots in a box. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Right, hang on. I know there's an area there I've seen on the map. Let's go look at that in a minute. What's this? Whoa, whoa, what did I just do? I turn the hand on the clock and something moved. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Oh, there's someone here. The same time as all the other clocks. Oh, you're having a laugh. I've got to go downstairs and find out what the other clock was. I'll have a look. Oh, hang on. Is there a clock in here? No one? No, I'll have to check it out in a minute. There's too much going off now. Storage room. I'm more interested in getting health packs. Right. Hang on, that was a head on a cage. Good here. Looks like plans for a weapon. Oh, lovely. Oh. Hang on a sec. Is this a weapon we've already found? Yeah. Looks like I've done things in a back to front order. From the fact that um, I already got that weapon, so. I love the false hope of opening a drawer and finding bugger all in it. Let's look at Granny's reading material. They killed him. Sudden mysteries. What else we got here? Fighting Street. Now these are either Jack's books or is she's into fighting and killing. Alright, okay. Let's have a look what else we can see in here. I know I'm like for rushing through and missing stuff, so don't miss anything. Right, hang on, let's look in here. So that's handgun ammo. I need that. It's so got enough space. So I'm just going to drop something for a minute. Drop that. Pick that up. So if I select gun. Can reload. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go downstairs and find out what time the clock is downstairs. Come back up and set it to that. Can't we see from here without going down? I know it's a big grandfather clock thing. Right, so we've got quarter past ten on this clock up here. So let's go and set Granny's clock to quarter past ten. So quarter past ten. Over that way. Hello there. Things are getting interesting. This house is huge. I'd love this house. What in the f oh. is that? Oh my god. I can't see Ethan talking. I thought that was me, uh, someone else for a minute. I'm getting sick of this. Oh, let's open loads of cupboards and doors that have nothing in it. So, it's still got no space. Hang on a sec.
What is that? Key card. I need it. So I've got to drop something to get it. Uh... Enhanced anger. I ain't got anything to do with that in a minute, so I'm going to drop that. At least we know now where ammo is going to be. Right, let's pick that up. I've just had a bit of a light bulb moment. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> It's so taking me 90% of the game to figure it out. The room outside, remember when I said like a bit of a, a weird nightclub with flashy lights? Had two locks on it. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, I think one was red and blue. Uh, so I think it was a red part and a blue to get in there. Obviously before we go any further, we've got to investigate the rest of the house. And not the rest of the snake key areas. <laughs> Thank you. Where are we now then? Oh, the workshop. Do I really want to go that way though? No, not really. So let's just get my uh, bearings. So we've covered the entire whole area of technically the basement, this is basement one <laughs> there's another area to it anyway, the other basement's been done I'm more interested at the moment of unlocking all the snake key areas, I mean there's a door there it's a kid's bedroom I wouldn't mind having a play up there so let's have a look up there for a minute So my main concern at the moment is from the fact that my health is a bit naff at the minute. Oh, you're having a... You can't get back. Oh, that's... Oh. Right. Talk about being set up. Right, what's the quickest route? Straight ahead, right then left. We know it's not going to go well. I can hear something moving around there. Holy shit! <laughs> I've got more things chasing me, I can hear it. You can s I've got a bloody army of them chasing me. Well, they know we don't, they don't come in here anyway. So you can bugger off. Sure. There we go. I'm going to chuck some stuff in here we don't need. As in the treasure photo. I want to have a look at that anyway before I do it, actually. Right, so. I know it sounds daft, but I feel like I've seen that cage before. I mean, is that somebody's head or is it one of those mannequin heads? What else do I have in the photo? Don't know, nothing much. I hid something nice here. Try to find it if you can. So, I don't know. Just wondering, that's not the room with the, um, the grenade launcher. I don't know. Don't need it now anyway, let's chuck it in here. Uh, key card bullets to do. I'm going to chuck this coin in there, I can't see what it's doing. Apparently it's supposed to enhance this and that. I'm also going to put the grenade launcher in here until later. Plus it opens up all that. So, there we go. A bit more play with it. And then from this point, I'm just going to do a quick save. 
So let's just check, see if those monsters are outside. Before we go any further, I'm just going to... Right, I think I've got an idea. And the moulders are gone, which is good. So I'm going to head up here, I'm going to unlock the doors that we've not been able to get into. So, right, through here on the left. You know someone's going to jump out. It's near we've not been to. So this has gone more mouldy than before. It's like the mouldies are taking over, aren't they? this room is the kids room so I've got plenty to see in here I'm not touching that not yet shotgun shells I need those badly what have got here it's a little diary April mummy took me to the hospital in town they took a photo of my head with a weird machine then mummy brought me a 259 piece puzzle from the toy store. Stupid Oliver keeps teasing me. You're a crazy head. I lied to Oliver. I told him to come over t for my birthday party. Then shot him in the attic from outside by remote control. He kept crying. Let me out, Lucas. I changed remote control so, so stupid Zoe can't just go into the attic. Meld it with one of my inventor's contest trophies. Now she'll never find it. So this is uh, from Lucas, obviously. Just gives you kind of a rough idea what sort of child he was. Got a little baseball bat here. So from baseball trophy. Anything written on it? No. So we've got loads of trophies. So I imagine these are Lucas's trophies. Honourable mention, amateur robotics champion 1998. So he's some sort of like child genius from what we can see here. Second place, third junior engineering contest. Got another one here. Third place, second junior engin engineering contest. And we've got a cupboard. More shotgun shells. Because that's where you find the kids' bedroom. The football. Anything on it? No. Got another crocodile. I've just heard something banging. I keep hearing that noise a lot. I think it's just outside. Just to give you the freaky shakes. Oh, hello. Press the button, see what it does. And a ladder drops down. I'll tell you what, I'll find all sorts of secrets today. See what's going off here. Number one. Oliver stop his yelling, but sometimes I hear knocking from above. Is all I've just heard. It really stinks. And some weird juice is dripping from the ceiling. Anyway, since I had time, I changed the remote control trophy again. Now it's t and now it'll be shiny even at night. So that was obviously a clue for that or something else, and then, you know, it all comes together. Herb, I'll have that. Let's see what's in the drawer. Spoons and knives and forks. Dare I press this? Shit will turn up if I press it. Can I shut this door? I just don't like that door being open. Um, okay. It's broken. No, it can't work anyway. So he's had, he's had juice coming out of his ceiling. Okay. Please be your health pack. Videotape. I wonder what the fuck that was for me. <laughs> right, hang on. It's all around. It's a projector. Oh, I'm not picking that up yet. 
I'm having a look around before we do anything silly. What's this say? A painting named Judgment. It's, uh, it's a woman kneeling in front of a mob. Yeah, she's about to get her head lobbed off as well. So anyway, there's no one of those little houses again. Let's turn this around. Have a play. So we've got the axe, man. Yeah, I think we've got it right. I've just got to flip it around again. And I'll bring it back to front. I do then. I'm glad it hasn't got to be an absolute spot on. Right, okay, so what have we got in there? We've got both key cards. And a Christmas tree. <laughs> I've just noticed. Oh, this goes around the corner. A toy axe, because, yeah. A model shotgun. And we've got something else. Let's have a look. Renovation contract. Customer, Jack Baker. Contractor. Trevor, Trevor and Chamberlain Construction. Construction period. November 10th, 1992 to November 30th, 1992. Details. Installation of shadow activated. Doorway in main hall. So it just shows you that um, the construction team that put this house together. They're brilliant, aren't they? I'll tell you what. If you could get a construction team to build a crazy-ass house out there, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? I suppose if you had enough cash, you could do, really. I think that's going to be my thing. If I ever win the lottery, I'm going to have a Resident Evil 7 house that's got, like, secret doorways and crazy passages and that. It'd be amazing. You never want to leave your own house. It could be so exciting. Okay, anyway. Down the stairs. A ladder. I'm just feeling I'm going to have a cutscene where Lucas jump out with an axe. Some stupid. So there's a, there's a model axe and... Um, Gone upstairs, toy one. I don't know if we're going to be needing those at some point or another. Uh, yeah, I've seen that. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I've just covered all the areas with the uh, snake keys. There's one thing down there. Snow done all that. Let's have a look at something quickly. Keep hearing noises. There's a videotape here as well. Let's check that out. Let's see what it's all about. Happy birthday. A videotape with happy birthday written on the label. Let's put it in. Wonder if it's gonna be one of those interactive ones again. Happy birthday experiment. Can trespass an idiot solve puzzles? So while watching this, try and take note if there's anything that resembles anything we've seen in the house, because this could be a clue. Don't be like that. It's gonna be fun. Just you wait. I think his idea of fun is completely different to everybody else's. I've not seen that door before. Oh, it is interactive. I'm now playing the victim. <laughs> what in the... F Ooh... Candle. Okay, we need the candle. <laughs> nice. So this is Lucas's idea of fun. Lock me in a room with a, a corpse and a candle and see if I can get out of it. I think that's the whole idea of it. And a whoopee. Is that a whoopee cushion? 
I bet this part's amazing in VR. Can't wait to replay this game in VR. You. Oh, right, we've got night vision. A peepee hole. There's something coming out of the pipe, I wonder if that's gas. Yeah, I've noticed, I think the place is going to go kaboom. Right, so. Door there. That's uh, locked. I think the idea is to find something to cut that rope to get out. Happy fucking birthday, got a light? Lucas said you need to put a candle in it. Right, okay. Now, the thing is, I'm just looking at this. I mean, I know obviously this is a memory. So whatever happens is already happened. But that, to me... I don't know. What is coming out of that? If that was gas, and I lit a candle, the whole lot's going to go kaboom, obviously don't blow the house up. Right. What have we got here? Oh, we've got a pattern thing. Right, so we've got to find a code. A winding key. Right, so we need to know what that is, that code, before we can proceed. Any clues anywhere? Put the wine key in that. Doesn't fit. Right, so, say that I'm in a room with limited stuff. There's three things we need. We need to cut that rope, we need to put a key in that, and a candle other than that. No point in using that now. I know, I know, I'm just looking at the thing. Just stuff a candle in it, just for the sheer hell of it. Nope. Well, that's freaky. So we need to put something in the hand of that to do that. Right. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. Something in the tool I've got to put my hand in it. Go on, get your hand in. Mmm. Right, what is that? Dirty telescope. It's not going to be clean, it's been in the toilet. Select telescope from your inventory. I've selected it to use item. Oh. I can't see anything with it. Telescope. No, no, no. Oh. Do as you want. Hmm, getting desperate now. Just fitting anything into anything I can put my thing in. Oh, there we go. Just had an idea. Could be completely wrong. No, I'm completely wrong. And every time we go through there, the sprinkler comes on. It's going to take it out. Yeah. So we need to find a way to turn the sprinkler off. Obviously, the winding key that might have something to do with the pipe. I'm trying to find something I can stick the winding key in. So, obviously, that. Well, it's not the one who would use that, right. I don't know. I've got to stick something in there to turn the water off, to light the candle, to. I need to open the box. So, what are the images on here? 
So we've got some like the Reaper. I'm just going to pick some at random and see what happens. No, it's not me. So where do I get these clues from then? Pop the balloons with the candle? Nope. Am I thinking too much into this? Probably. No water's coming out. What are our options? I know that does. Hang on a minute. There we go. <laughs> I thought that wasn't for a minute. Ah! Pop balloons. I don't know if that's the uh, key to the puzzle, I was doing it because I felt like doing it. It would be difficult to open without a password. Right, just so as we get in the rear. We end up with another bloody puzzle. Hang on, what's that? Balloon. Is that in the um, tree now? We have a balloon. Hang on a moat. Just had another thought. Was I supposed to have done that? Ah! There we go! Was that supposed to have happened? Aha! Right! I know where that's going. Right, so if we head over to... Here. It can't hold it properly, why? Oh, it's missing a finger. So let's just have a look at what we've got at the minute. So we've got a quill pen. We know that's for that weird animatronic thing in the other room. Um, dirty telescope. And the candle, obviously, for the cake. Now, right, so... Just a thought, I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna try some it. It's dirty, let's clean it. There we go, we can see through it now. So what we're looking for is the clue to this box. Because I'm assuming this is my idea. Yeah, okay, we get the idea now. Right, I'll stop using it. The password is for the room with the balloons. This thing can't write the password because it needs a finger. The finger's obviously in the lock box. The telescope gives us the clue to where, uh, to what the lock box is. That's my theory. Now, I could be completely wrong, but it's all I've got at the minute. I'm going to use that item and have a look around. Ah! Oh, hang on. Right. There's your clue then. So it's that, that, and that. So. I don't know if that's somebody holding something up or being hung up, I don't know. It's that one, and then it's a weird looking shape thing there, and a baby. Right, let's go to the lockbox and let's do this. So, first it was that one, then it was that and then it was the baby. And we've got a straw doll. So I'm still on the wiser now. Why the hell have we got a straw doll? What's it all about? So let's have a look at this straw doll. I mean the doll is hard to the touch. That's nice. What am I supposed to do with this? Right, I'm super burn this bloody doll. Right, let's have a look. Hang on a sec. 
Right, we're burning the doll. Now my theory is the fingers in the doll. Yeah, right. So now we put the finger on this thing. Done. Then we put the quill in this thing. Yes. Now return this. And I'm assuming it writes the password. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh shit. So it's. Well, that's a nasty tattoo. <laughs> right, well, we've got the password. <laughs> Check your arm. Loser. Right, so we'll take this now to the door. This has got to be the end of it now, it's got to be. Loser. Well, actually, I'm a winner, I've just won. Here. Valve handle. Yes. Now we turn the water off, light the candle, put the candle in the cake, and we're done. That's it, that's it. It's all done. Right, so as we're running around here, confession time. I've had to have to pause this, and I've damn good think about it a few times. It's actually taken longer than you're actually watching this video. Right, let's turn the water off. So yeah, so don't watch this video and think, wow, we worked that out quick. No, I actually sat there and I'll go and think about it for a while. Okay, candle. <laughs> uh, memory there. Um, anybody who's fans of Bottom, remember the candle in the eye joke? <laughs> Guest house paradiso, Bottom. Anyway, I'm going the wrong way now. I'm talking about bottom. Hang on, where's the key? Here we go. That's freaky. Happy fucking birthday! Got a light? Okay, it meant it literally. Oh, and now I'm going to die. I'm gonna get out of it quick. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I know we're on fire. Well, I'm assuming that was supposed to happen. Lucas is a sick bastard, isn't he? So the whole purpose of me heading in this direction in the first place before I put this tape in the VCR was I saw a room with an explanation marker, some weird little thing on it. I'm going to check that out just very quickly and, and then I'm going to go and save it and end today's video. Now we'll find out what's in this room and then I'll come back and save it. So We've got the two key cards. It looks like it's opened up a massive area on this game now. Okay, so that's uh, a bit of insight to Lucas. Okay, so it's going to get out of here now. Right, the bell's looking on the map. Was that in the corner? So there's a door behind me. I'll go through that door. I think it's a lockbox. I'm right, it is. It's this thing. If that's what's showing up on the air, it is. It's out of the map. I do have a lockpick. Shotgun shells. Brilliant. 
Okay, so it was worth my time coming back down here. Right, I'm going to go and... It gets me every time. I look down there to keep thinking I've seen something. Right, I'm going to go to the nearest save point. Oh, which is downstairs. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's just hope no more mouldies show up. No, the phone's ringing. Right, where's the phone? Hey, buddy. Remember, those two key cards will get you into the party. Don't, Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no. You gotta show up first. You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man. Everybody's waiting for you. So as much as I was taking the piss last time about looking like it was a nightclub outside, I wasn't far wrong. Am I going to be able to get to the storage save room before something jumps out? Run. <laughs> Hammering. And I'm going to save it there. Part 13, we know what we're doing, we know where we're going, and we know what's happening. We actually got a lot, happen a lot done today. Uh, we've got two key cards. We're going to the party in part 13. We're going to have some fun with Lucas. We might see Mia again. Might see Zoe, because we haven't seen Zoe yet. We just heard her on the phone, so we'll find out what's going on with that one. But uh, we've got to get this head. So the, uh, the plan is, part 13 video is put the head with the arm, make the serum. Don't know if we've got to fight Lucas. I don't know what's going on with him. He's twisted. I don't know. Obviously, I've got to kill him. Um, rescue Mia. Rescue Zoe. Get out. Get out the house. That only leaves one family member, and that's Granny. Now, as I said before, I've not seen anything on this game up to this point. This is all new stuff for me. I know this game's been out a while, and people may have seen the end in this game. I know what's going off. But, I haven't. And so, I have my theories on what is this game and what is going to happen with the family. So I, my theory is Granny is not what you think. Now, she's going to be one of two things. She's either going to crawl out the chair into a, like a big monster and attack us. That's option one. Option two, I said before, I don't think Granny's evil. So let's see how wrong I am. Well, anyway, we'll find out as we go further into the game. So part 13 is going to be a lot of fun. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. But until then, all I can say is uh, <laughs> let's get uh, uh, more into this game and find out what's going to happen. So anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a like. And as I said before, if you haven't subscribed to Gaming Crazy, uh, subscribe because there's loads more happening. Uh, obviously, we're per part 13, Resident Evil. And uh, obviously, the end at some point. Uh, I'm not sure how many more videos are going to be left of this. I'm assuming we're coming to the end. So anyway, thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time on Gaming Crazy. Goodbye. Thank you.